you like sending people memes. In the olden times before Discord, sending a meme to an individual or family member was difficult or time consuming. And then custom greeting cards came along. Ah, finally, you can send a picture of a cute dog or cat saying happy Christmas to your great uncle's cousin and get a single brief moment of familial acceptance before you're of course banished back to the gaming dungeon with all the other family outcasts. But what if instead of spending four pounds on individual custom cards for family, you could instead order hundreds and thousands of these custom greeting cards for free? Well, it just so happens that Moonpig, one of these custom card websites, is doing a very special giveaway to help customers say thank you to someone who helped them get through the last year. The setup is simple. Each customer can get one free thank you card. They can then customize it and then all they have to do is pay for the simple postage of the card. What a nice and generous offer from this lovely Giga Corporation. One simple free card just to say thank you. But what if the poor unpaid intern who was told to set up this giveaway didn't set a limit to the amount of free cards you could get? Oh no. And then what if a tea fueled lunatic was around to exploit this mess? Oh well ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back and relax and brace yourself for the video explanation of why I now own 99 cards with Todd Howard's face on them. That's right, grab your cups of Yorkshire tea and like the video. It's time to break the internet. So ladies and gentlemen, our exploit begins with one very lovely specific card company. Say hello to Moonpig. They are a UK based card company with offices on London and offices on Guernsey for tax purposes. They operate a very simple business. You simply hop onto their website, select say a card for one of your friends, customize the inside and then send it off to them. It's a very lovely concept. It's nice and cute and people love it. There's just one minor issue. Moonpig has started a relatively interesting event. They are handing out a free thank you card because of course it's been a tough year and there's plenty to be grateful for. You can now send one free standard thank you card to anyone. That's right. All you need to do is pay for shipping and you can send them any kind of card, including this card here that just says you the shit. You can send this card to someone. So let's say we want our singular you the shit card. It's a standard card. It costs zero pence and we can personalize this bad boy. So let's personalize this. We can add whatever text we like inside here. You can fill out your card with a lovely message like this. You know, it's fantastic. And then what you can do is just whack that card in the basket. Now you're ready to purchase your brand new card. Of course, at checkout, they want to give you, you know, really overpriced jelly beans or a 14 pound balloon for some reason. You want to, of course, ignore all of this overpriced tat and instead scroll on down to the bottom where you want to continue to your basket. Now at this point, we need to create ourselves an account. This is, of course, my favorite part. Title? Oh, it's going to be other, of course, as we're going to be posing as the legendary Lord Rianu Keys, the strongest being in the universe. Once again, signing up using my favorite email address, and it's time to get this account on the road. So we've just created our incredible you the shit card. It cost us no money, and we're now actually ready to get this delivered to us. We'll have to pay for postage, but that's fine. There's just one interesting problem here. As you can see, we only have one of these cards because we're only entitled to one card for free per account. That makes perfect sense. There's just one minor issue. Uh, this little box here can just be slid right the way down to the bottom and uh, just put up to 99. That's right. We're allowed to order 99 identical you the shit cards. Best of all, we can actually edit this uh, because, I mean, we probably don't want this to be the inside. If you wanted to be actually incredibly crafty, my advice would be to just simply delete all of the text that you have here, finish the editing, and what you've now just created is a completely and utterly blank card. This is now a completely blank you the shit card. And what you can do is you can now crank this bad boy up to 99. If you get any error messages, just refresh the page. You notice we've now got 99 you the shit cards in the basket. And now is the lovely point where we can add in our delivery details. But of course, before we do that, we can do this over and over again. This bad boy's in the basket, but who says we can't just continue? So let's get a few more free cards whilst we're at it. I wonder if they've got any tea related cards. Oh, here we go. Let's be best tees forever. Oh, it's so cute. Fantastic. Let's get ourselves one of these bad boys. Naturally, we need to personalize it and uh, we're not going to. We're just going to leave it blank, add it to our basket. Lovely stuff. Everything is good. Just ignore all of this and continue straight onto the basket where once again, you'll see that this bad boy is a standard card and it's free. Uh, you just want to crank this number right the way up to 99 as well. We now have 198 cards in our basket and uh, we're just going to open up another tab here and just go straight back. Uh, 
Um, and whatever cards can we get? Give me some more free thank you cards whilst we're here, Moonpig. You know what? This one looks pretty standard. This is just a load of flowers. I guess my mum would like this. We're gonna pick up one of these bad boys as well. Oh, apparently it says thank you so much here. We definitely want to remove that. Uh, just leave it blank. That way it has a higher retail value. And bam, there we go. That's a free thank you card added to our basket. Let's just continue onto the basket. There we go. Crank this bad boy up to 99 and now we have 297 cards in the basket. Now, if we were to order, let's say, a standard card, a regular birthday card, what does it actually cost? Well, let's say you wanted to get this amazing happy birthday corgi card. That's going to cost you £3.29. That's a decent amount of money, my friends. Now, we have 297 cards in our basket and logically only one of these is meant to be free. There's just one issue. All of them are free. Now, we have 297 cards here, all technically valued at £3.29 each, meaning if you were to buy all of these cards legitimately, they would cost you just under £1,000. Yes, that's right. And you know what? Now it's time to add in a delivery address. We're just going to ship all of these bad boys to one address. Now, naturally, what I've done is I've just inputted all of the lovely address details for my P.O. Box, where I usually just receive large quantities of tea for free, or people who send coffee in to try and poison me. Legitimately, someone once sent in an entire Morphe Richards coffee machine for some reason. Oh, dear, oh, dear. But yes, we'll just save this address in. This is uh, the one we'll use. We'll say deliver all of these envelopes to this address. Do I want to set a birthday? No, I don't want to set my birthday. Now, this is actually a place where we actually have to pay, because what? Whilst we've secured ourselves all of these cards for free, technically speaking, uh, we do have to pay for shipping. So naturally we'll be paying for first class delivery for all of these wonderful cards to arrive at my lovely P.O. Box. And oh, can we enter a voucher code? <laughs> we definitely shouldn't. But look at this, postage cost £2.55. That's right, in order for all of these cards, which should be costing us around about £1,000, it is only going to cost us £2.55. People at Moonpig, this seems a little bit broken doesn't it, my dear friends? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now you might be wondering, what on earth am I even going to do with all of these cards? Well, it's going to be a mix of a few things. I'm going to see if the local charity shops want any of these, because ultimately I can't particularly use all of these cards, and it seems most right to put them to good use, but ultimately I'll order them, but I'll wait for them to arrive, and then if we actually do receive all of these hundreds of cards, I'll see if we can give them to good causes. Now I guess all I have to do is actually pay for all of this. I'll be back in a moment. God, this has to actually be one of the worst business expenses I've ever done, or at least the stupidest business expense I've ever managed. HMRC, if you're watching this, I can 100% promise that all of these cards were a necessary business expense. Trust me, and they are 100% worth two pounds. <laughs> oh god, I can't believe this. The issue is, there is no limit to the amount technically you could do this. You could theoretically bankrupt the entirety of Moonpig just using these cards. I mean, I stopped after three, because that equates to around about one grand, but if you were to get yourself 30 different sets of cards and a 90 based quantity, then you've just gained yourself £10,000 worth of free cards. That's pretty good. Now let's go and buy some paper. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, we have placed the order. All 297 cards should be arriving on Monday the 9th of August. How was my experience on the website today? It was good, it was really good. Would you like to say why? I managed to swindle £1,000 worth of cards for just £2.55. That's pretty good. Thanks for your feedback. I'm glad you like it, Moonpig. That's very nice of you. Right, honestly, I think uh, I could continue shopping. Am I allowed to claim more? Is it is it possible for me to claim more despite the fact that I've already got an order? Like if I were to say purchase this standard card here that just says thank you. Is this just got some person on it? Can I change the image? Yes, I can. Oh my goodness. 12 seconds later. <laughs> Can I do this? Is this fine? Can, can this be added to basket? Just the Todd Howard card? Please tell me I can order the Todd Howard card for free. Please. Please. Oh my god, I can. It's free. 99. Thank you, Todd Howard card. Add it to the delivery pile. Oh my god. God, okay, right, we're getting these. Okay, this this one is the premium one. I'll sign them and I'll hand them out to patrons because this is just breathtaking. It's amazing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just did it. I spent 85p getting 99 copies of Todd Howard's face saying thank you. This has been the greatest experience I've ever experienced. Would I like to say why? I have created art. Thank you for helping me. 
Oh yes, so incredible, so breathtaking, and so magnificent. <laughs> right, I'll be back in a few days once all of these cars have arrived because hopefully they're all amazing. Look at this, order summary, subtotal 297 items, package and postage, £2.55. Quite nice, quite good. Apparently, they're also going to include an envelope for all of these cards so that I can, you know, pack them away nicely. Oh my God. God, this is ridiculous. Oh God, this doesn't even include the 99 Todd Howard faces I just ordered. That means in total we have 396 cards. <laughs> God, I love my job. It's the best. Several days later. And after just a few days wait, all 396 cards have arrived. Now, if I were to buy them all normally at retail from Moonpig, it would cost around about £1,500 to purchase all of these cards. That's a huge profit for the Guernsey-based Moonpig, of course, because they don't have to pay any corporation tax, and it also costs them literal pennies to print out each of these cards that they sell for around about £4 each. And here they are, my goodness, 99 floral thank you cards that I will be slowly sending to family over the span of the the next decade. 99 cards saying you to shit that I will be using to harass my sister and all of my unpaid interns with. Then 99 cards saying best tease forever which I will of course be using to sweep my way into Artie Games heart and try to seduce him so that I can eventually marry that beautiful man and steal his inheritance. And finally the greatest cards of all. 99 Todd Howard thank you cards. It's perfect. The smooth sleek text provides 14 times the detail. More open space to explore and write on than ever before. You see that blank card? Well, you can go to it and you can write whatever you want on it. You can do anything. It's perfect. But what am I doing with these incredible Todd Howard faces? Well, I'm just going to be sending them to Patreons. That's right, I'm sending 99 thank you Todd Howard cards because I've run out of better things to do with my life. So enjoy the limited edition official Todd Howard merch. If you guys like it, I might actually start doing more weird Patreon exclusive merchandise. I don't know, like a tea cozy or something. Maybe biscuits. Biscuits could be a good idea. Now, of course, I wasn't the only person to notice this exploit. And especially after I leaked it onto Twitter, a lot of other people also attempted it. So here's what some of the community came up with. Say hello to sexy Linus Tech Tips, telling you thank you. Now you can hang up 99 topless pictures of Linus around your bedroom to help you fall asleep. Oh, he's so beautiful. Someone else ordered 99 classic troll faces, and someone ordered 69 of whatever on earth this is. But of course there was more. Even my own uncle managed to get 99 of these amazing guinea pig happy birthday cards by just editing the text on the thank you card to read happy birthday, consequently dodging the fact that the promotion was only meant to give you a free thank you card. What a 1000 IQ pro gamer move. As you can tell, exploiting everything runs in the family. Anyway, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we've exploited the wonderful website of Moonpig for our incredible own profit. Thank you very much, Moonpig, for allowing us to do this exploit. And of course, since I've placed my order, you have now actually fixed this exploit. I think it was after probably several hundred people put through these gigantic orders that slowed down your factory that you maybe realized that potentially this was slightly broken. Anyway, as always, Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, you are legally required to like it. And if you want to see more wonderful exploits that allow you to break and cheese your way through life, then make sure to subscribe to this wonderful channel. We'd absolutely love to have you here. And as always, a massive thank you to each and every one of my amazing patrons, some of whom will now be the proud owner of Todd Howard's face. <laughs> What a wonderful gift to receive. And if you sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, look no further than this one on screen now, hand chosen by myself to be absolutely perfect for you. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have a lovely day and goodbye for now.